this is based on an interview I watched on YouTube like last week. Uh, this interview was done by Graham Bensinger with Alex Smith. Okay. Three years old interview. I okay. highly recommend anyone to watch this interview. Okay. So there he was saying, so now he was drafted at the first overall. Okay. I mean, that um, meant, literally meant he was coming to the worst organization. No question. Right? Mm -hmm. So he was trying to get his feet, uh, get get on his feet, uh, doing what he supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But the organization was really messy. Uh, the coaches were changing. Mm -hmm. He had 17 different wide receivers. Right? Mm -hmm. so things were not going good. On his on Alex Smith's own words, he said the organization was dysfunctional. It was <laughs> right. It was. Now, then after yes. that, uh, you had uh, Jimmy Habuira, successful in terms of on-field success, I I believe. Then mm -hmm. uh, as you said, Tom Sula, Chip Kelly. Then now we are on to uh, Kyle Shanahan's era, four years. Mm -hmm. So since you, you have been on that locker room, you have the first-hand experience. My first question is. Do we have a good culture that we can build on to the future compared to what Alex Smith experienced? Um, uh, it's not as bad as it was 15 years ago. It was really bad 15 years ago. Uh, they have built something. I mean, Kyle's been there four years, but I, I still, they've had one winning season since 2013. Yes. Um, I don't think they really have a very strong culture the way that Seattle does, Pittsburgh does, Baltimore does. Um, they're trying. They have a culture. In the, the past few years, they were like talking like, well, it's a brotherhood. They play hard even if they lose. They're all yeah. tightly knit. Well, are they still? You know, I think that a lot of those guys we used to be young. Now they're old and paid. It's yeah. a different team now. I don't know what this what the culture is really. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. That's the interesting thing is every time we heard someone speaks, it's always positive things. Because, uh, for example, let's say Russell Wilson, he basically threw his offensive line under the bus, right? Yeah. So, but we still don't hear that stories coming from Niners. Uh, even the uh, uh, other like team players on the other teams, uh, they mm -hmm. say uh, willing to uh, play for uh, Kyle Shanahan and Niners organization. So. Mm -hmm. It's kind maybe can can be some delusional, but yeah. as of as fans, what we see is uh, what is uh, we can judge only based on the things that is available to us. So for, uh, for my uh, yeah, when I was looking at the at the early Kyle Shanahan era, it's like they had a lot of young players who weren't making a lot of money. So what were they gonna? I mean, they didn't have divas. They didn't have celebrities on their team. Now, George Kittle's a celebrity. George uh, Jimmy Garoppolo's worth $100 million. There's a lot of really expensive players on the team. And is it the same happy-go-lucky, innocent, young group that just wants to compete? I don't know. I don't know about that. You know? It's different. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I don't know. So, I, yeah. We got to look at that culture. <laughs>